Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook as we continue Holy Week. Today is Tuesday of Holy Week. And in my own home diocese, perhaps yours as well, today is a special day where we gather at our cathedral around our bishop and celebrate the Chrism Mass. So today I'm going to talk about what the Chrism Mass is and encourage you all to attend your Chrism Mass, which may or may not take place today. So look at your own diocesan website and find out whether the Chrism Mass is today or perhaps another day throughout Holy Week. The Chrism Mass is a special Mass that is held at the Cathedral Church, where the Cardinal, the Bishop, or the Archbishop gathers around his or her priests, women religious, deacons, and lay faithful people to give honor and praise to God, especially in regards to the sacramental life of our church. In the midst of Holy Week, the church has been given three sacred oils, oils that are used to enhance faith as the Holy Spirit comes down upon us, his daughters and sons. In the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, holy orders, and the sacrament of the sick, We use these sacred oils to enhance our relationship with God as the Holy Spirit comes down. There are three sacred oils, the oil of catechumens, the oil of the sick, and sacred chrism. At this Mass, the bishop prays over these new oils that are made from olive oil that are used in parishes throughout the diocese to care for the people of God. First, let's talk about the oil of catechumens. This precious oil is used for the sacrament of baptism, and this is the only time we receive this oil throughout our life. At this special Mass, the bishop prays over this oil and asks that through the saving waters of baptism, that the Holy Spirit touches these children or adults who are to be baptized with this oil so that they can put on the armor of God and become soldiers for Christ. They can be protected from the devil and all that is evil and grow as a child of the Lord. The oil of catechumens is received generally on our neck or over our chest reminding us of this beautiful presence of the Holy Spirit upon our bodies. The second sacred oil that is blessed that day or evening is called the oil of the sick. This oil is used for the sacrament of the sick. This oil brings the healing power of the Holy Spirit upon the one who is to be anointed. When facing chronic illness, surgery, or serious health conditions, when somebody is anointed with this oil, the Holy Spirit comes down upon them while physical healing is requested. Sometimes it is granted. Other times the healing is more of a spiritual, psychological, or emotional one. The power of this sacrament is revealed to us as the bishop prays over the oil and asks the Holy Spirit to send his healing power upon it. If you have received the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, then you know full well in your own lives, friends, how the Holy Spirit has touched you, brought you peace, comfort, and healing in many forms as you receive this oil on your bodies. Crosses are made on your forehead and on the palms of your hands. If a priest is anointed because he has already been anointed on the palms of his hands, he then receives this anointing on the outside of his hands. The third oil that is blessed at the Chrism Mass is the one that is called Chrism. Sacred Chrism 
is again regular olive oil that has balsam added to it. Balsam is a scented perfume that gives us a scent to remind us of the scent of God, the scent of holiness, and the scent of heaven. Upon reception of this oil at different sacraments, beginning at baptism, the one who is to receive it becomes another Christ, a Christian, which means an anointed one of God. The second time we receive chrism is on our foreheads when we are confirmed by the bishop, archbishop, or cardinal on the day of our confirmation. And then for those who are ordained priests like myself, chrism is again poured over the hands of a priest. So as he raises his hands in blessing over you, the people of God, it is not magic or hocus pocus. Rather, it is the Holy Spirit working through him as an instrument of blessing you, God's people. Chrism continues to be a very important part of the sacramental life of all of us. And so, once again, this is blessed by the bishop. And as he says the blessing, as he pours balsam into this oil, he does a special thing. He blows upon it, that ruah, that breath of God. As the bishop breathes upon this oil and blows upon the oil, it is to signify the Holy Spirit's presence throughout history, bringing health, healing, strength, and power through grace given to us as we receive this special oil in our lives, chrism. At this Mass, too, friends, you will see that the priests of the diocese, united under their bishop, renew their priestly commitment, whether they are diocesan or religious priests, to serve God and his church, placing the needs of God and his people before their own. This outward sign of renewing their commitment inspires not only the priest, but the people to remind oneself that the gift of the priesthood, celebrated in a powerful way in Holy Week, is not for the priest himself, but rather is a gift from God to his church. May we always be grateful for the great grace of the priesthood. Also, the bishop publicly renews his commitment to serve the diocese to which God has called him to serve. In the presence of the lay faithful of the diocese, the bishop once again asks for a prayer that he may be an apostle of Christ and an instrument of the Holy Spirit, a representative of God in our midst, in the area and diocese he serves. Throughout this Mass, friends, there are many special prayers said to remind us, especially of those who cannot be with us at the altar, the poor, the sick, the marginalized, the forgotten, those who are far from God. As communion of saints, we need to continue to lift them in prayer and remind ourselves of our need to serve God by loving and serving them. Take it from me, friends, the Chrism Mass is a very powerful and beautiful liturgy that I encourage each of you to make part of your own spiritual lives. If you've never attended a Chrism Mass, I encourage you, attend the one in your own diocese. I know the Chrism Mass is moving for me, not only as a priest, but even before I was a priest. I always looked forward to this great celebration where we gather as a diocesan church, surrounded by our bishop, and thanks being to God for all that he blesses us with, and how we rely on the power of God to move forward. What a great joy it is to help us to understand the beauty and the mystery of the Chrism Mass. Lord, thank you as we continue Holy Week, reminding us of your presence, reminding us of your grace, and helping us to grow in the sacraments of the church we love so much. Friends, I wish you a continued happy Holy Week. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, 
please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.